Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest upcoming videos. This video is on nuclear staining by Jim Sars method and its details. So let's start with So let's see the aim. The aim of this staining is to stain bacterial nuclear material by Jimsa staining method. Now let's see the requirements. Here we need Boyne's fixative, one normal HCl, third is water bath and fourth is Jimsa stain and the last one is cell suspension. So these are the basic requirements which we need for staining of nuclear material by Jimsa staining technique. Now let's see the approach. DNA is a principal genetic material of all microorganisms except some viruses. So all microorganisms except viruses have DNA as a genetic material. Bacterial cell lacks a well organized nucleus. It is the very essential structure of living cell. So as we all know the genetic material in bacteria is not enclosed in a nucleus. Okay, So it doesn't contain a well organized nucleus and nucleus is a very essential structure of a cell. Nucleus performs important functions like growth, metabolic activities, multiplication and transfer of hereditary characters. Nuclear material of a bacteria is also called as a nucleic chromatin body. Bacterial cells have a haploid nuclear content as they possess a single copy of double stranded DNA material. Now nuclear material of a bacteria is haploid. Okay, Haploid in the sense it has only one copy of chromosome. So it is called as haploid and it possesses a single copy of double stranded DNA material. Beside DNA, some bacteria may possess extra chromosomal material which is called as plasmid. The nuclear material of bacteria is stained by using Jimsa staining method whereas other method that can be used are Fugens method and Robinos method. So here in this video I am going to explain you Jimsa staining method which is used for nuclear staining but there are two more methods that is Fugens method and Robinos method. Let's start with the procedure. A clean grease free slide is taken and a thick smear is prepared by using a sterile wire loop. So here you have to take a clean grease free slide and with the help of a sterile wire loop you have to prepare a thick smear of your bacterial suspension. The slide is allowed to air dry and then the smear is fixed by using Boyne's fixative for about 15 minutes. Here we avoid heat fixation step. Okay, So here what we have to do once we have prepared the smear we have to air dry that smear and then treat the smear with Boyne's fixative. In this procedure also we are going to use chemical fixative that is Boyne's fixative and we have to treat that smear with this fixative for 15 minutes. Here we are going to avoid heat fixation step. Further after chemical fixation the slide is treated with one normal HCl that is hydrochloric acid solution in a water bath at 60 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. So what you have to do? After chemical fixation, you have to treat the slide with one normal HCl and place your slide on a water bath for about 60 degrees Celsius and this you have to keep for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, the slide is rinsed with water and flooded with Jimsa stain for about 3 to 5 minutes. After that, the slide is observed under oil immersion objective. So after treatment of 5 minutes, you have to wash off the slide with the you have to remove extra, uh, extra hydrochloric acid which is present on that slide and you have to wash that slide with a distilled water 
then you have to treat the slide with Gimsa stain and keep that stain on the smear for about 3 to 5 minutes. After that, you have to wash the slide and observe under oil immersion lens. Let's see the flowchart of nuclear staining by Gimsa's method. First of all, you have to prepare a smear, air dry and heat fix by Boyne's fixative for about 15 minutes. Next step is you have to treat your slide with one normal hydrochloric acid solution and keep your slide for 5 minutes in a water bath of temperature 60 degrees Celsius. Further, rinse the slide with water and flood with Jimsa stain and keep it for 3 to 5 minutes. After that, water wash the slide and observe under oil immersion. Now let's see the mechanism. Jimsa stain is prepared by a mixture of two stains that are methylene blue which is a basic dye and eosine which is an acidic dye. So the resulting stain has property of both dyes. So Jimsa stain has property of a basic dye as well as a acidic dye. Now the chromatids of a cell are highly acidic in nature. So when it reacts with Jimsa stain it gives a reddish purple color to DNA. So here what happens when we treat the smear with Jimsa stain, the chromatid gets colored in reddish purple color because they are highly acidic in nature. The RNA of a cell is removed by acid hydrolysis step. In this step, the smear is treated with one normal hydrochloric acid in a water bath for about 60 degrees Celsius temperature for 5 minutes. During this step, due to heat and acid, the double bonds between the base pairs of RNA molecules get weak and break. Now here, when we carry out Jimsa stain, here we are uh, carrying out a acid hydrolysis step. The step in which we treat the smear with one normal hydrochloric acid and keep the slide on the water bath for about 60 degrees Celsius temperature for 5 minutes. Now in this step that is hydro, uh, acid hydrolysis step what happens? The RNA molecule is removed here. Now how it is removed? Now what happens? RNA molecule has double bonds in its base pairs. Okay. Now here due to heat and acid the action of both things that is heat and one normal HCl that is hydrochloric acid they both togetherly act on the bonds which are present in between the base pairs of RNA and due to which what happens the bonds become weak and break down whereas whereas the DNA material that is DNA molecules has triple bonds in between them. So some base pairs of DNA molecule doesn't get hydrolyzed and hence only DNA molecules get stained and cytoplasm remains colorless. So here in acid hydrolysis step what happens only RNA molecules are eliminated because RNA molecule has double bonds and due to heat and acid they become weak and break down. But whereas DNA molecule has triple bonds due to which they are strongly attached the base pairs are strongly attached to each other and these triple bonds don't get break down easily. So here in acid hydrolysis step DNA molecules remain intact whereas RNA molecule uh, remains break they get breakdown and so here when we stain the smear with the Jimsa stain the DNA molecule gets stained and the cytoplasm remains colorless. So this is the mechanism of Jimsa staining method. Now let's see the observation. The cytoplasm appears colorless whereas the nuclear material appears purple in color. So here you are going to see colorless cytoplasm as well as purple color genetic material that are your DNA molecules. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.